29 most hilarious animal photo bombs. Number 29, I'm cute too. Considering the relationship that penguins and seals have, this photo isn't actually all that cute. That seal is probably seconds away from tearing those poor penguins apart. The smile is adorable though. Maybe just let him eat one or two because of that. It is the circle of life after all. Number 28, pardon me. Finally, a fish is stepping up to stop those annoying newlywed photos where they kiss in unlikely locations. We understand that you've agreed to be miserable for the rest of your lives. We were at the party. You don't have to keep being annoying. Number 27, whale. The question here is which animal is photobombing the picture? Either way, if it's the bird or if it's the whale, this photo is still excellent. The bird just looks pissed off though. We're guessing that the whale is just showing off. Number 26, squirrel. The poor little squirrel looks confused. He's never seen a camera before. Is it a new type of food? Is it a new predator? Is it gonna be useful for when winter comes? This kind of thing is why animals hate us, people. Number 25, lizard. That lizard is going to be in major trouble. Greg, the lizard, has invaded in on the cat's spotlight one too many times. Sassy the cat should have eaten the enemy years ago. Probably won't take long to poop him out, right? He won't be alive for much longer, and that's for sure. Number 24, cat. Cats hold a lot of hate in their tiny little bodies. This picture will probably end up being exhibit one when people try to figure out why dogs suddenly start dying out overnight. All it takes is one vengeful little kitty to start a revolution. Number 23, sloth. With as slow as sloths move, this is probably less of a photobomb and more of a, hey, let's all pose with this thing before we go out to eat some McDonald's. The sloth still looks happy, although sloths always look happy. It's impossible for them to look any other way. Number 22, emus. That camera is seconds away from getting picked all apart. To emus, everything is food, and you definitely don't want to make them angry. They won't turn into the Hulk or anything, but you're probably going to lose some appendages. Number 21, llama. That couple must have done something to piss off that wedding photographer. Why were there llamas just wandering around where they were shooting anyways? Were they meant to be an accent? That is some really shoddy planning work, Tyler and Stacy. Number 20, elephant. What are those ladies even taking pictures of when there's an elephant right behind them? What is more interesting? Is it another elephant? If it isn't, then they're just failing at life in general. They're just making the animal look so sad too. It looks so unloved. Number 19, cats. Another cat that feels left out. That poor animal. The other cat doesn't even want its picture taken. He looks bored. It wants to be left alone. What do you want to bet that the cat being left out is the middle child? Number 18, Christmas cat. That cat is either waiting up to see if Santa is real or it is Santa. Either situation is the best thing ever. There's also a third option of it planning Santa's death and it's just wanting to claw whoever's wandering around at night. Number 17, help me. That cat in the window isn't so much as photobombing as asking for help. It doesn't look like it's happy to be where it's at and it needs the human's help. Obviously, the human is going to be a sadist and refuse to support it. Number 16. Is it me you're looking for? Why are people in these pictures just ignoring these cats? They obviously only want love. Just let it out so we can play too. Number 15. Wall. We're not sure why this person was taking a picture of a wall, but that cat just made this photo 10 times better. Were they showing off the paint? This doesn't make any sense. Happy Cat is here to pull you out of that nonsense. Number 14, Ricola. We know that this probably isn't a brand new ad for Ricola, but we really wish that it was. We only have a passing knowledge of the advertising industry and most of it was gained through Mad Men, but this is something that should be happening already, right? Just have animals photobomb all of your ads. Number 13, Hippo. He better be happy that this glass is there because if it wasn't, that Hippo would have already torn him limb from limb. Hippos are nasty and you should never really get that close. It looks like seconds away from headbutting the glass and eating him. Number 12, reindeer. What do you expect from animals when you take pictures in front of their habitat? They don't have much to do in there. Showing up in humans' pictures seems to be all the fun that they can have. Put down that camera and let that animal out. Number 11, suddenly cow. It's hard to tell if this cow is laughing at this horse or if it's taking responsibility, but it's funny either way. Our guess is that it's laughing at it though because how did the horse even do that? That is a feat of stupidity. Number 10, photographers facing the wrong way. We're not sure if that's a goat or a ram or if they're even the same thing. It doesn't even matter because if this were a video, the animal would be attacking that photographer in about two seconds. You can see it on its face. It's done with the whole situation.
Number nine, look at my butt. Get your animals out of the way when you're taking your wedding photographs. This is ridiculous. You know that cats love to show their butts to anyone that comes within sight? Not sure what it is, but cats are just jerks like that. Number eight, Susan, why? And here we see one cat's life come apart before his eyes. He just went out to get some milk for the missus, and then he comes home to see her mid romp with his best friend. It's been a shattering week for him. First, he didn't get the role in Cats the Musical that he wanted, and now this? It might be time for him to eat some of that weird plant in the garden that makes him feel funny. Just chill for a day. Number seven, I'm here too. Oi, I'm just trying to look majestic and get my picture taken here. I don't need your dumb goofy face ruining my shot. We understand that you're there too. I never get to be the one that people pay attention to. Stop being such a wanka. Number six, he is. This guy probably could have saved the money that he spent on that book because we can confirm that he is plotting your death. You've now tipped him off and he'll have to push his plan through faster than he originally planned. Number five, we can't decide who looks more horrified. Maybe the boy was yelling first and the horse was merely trying to educate him on how annoying he sounded. Why are preteen boys always so loud? They don't need to give us more reasons to want to punch him in the face. Number four, death. You can practically hear the ostrich rolling its eyes. He's not even biting her yet. Just suck it up and feed him. You have to fulfill your end of the bargain. They approach us in our big metal death machines and we feed them. That's why they tolerate us. Number three, pigeon. This is one pigeon that doesn't care about your self-discovery across Europe. He's tired of young people strutting around his territory, taking pictures and being annoying. Sure, they drop food and stuff like that, but it's always gross vegan things that make him gassy. Number two, hello. This is the face of someone that realized that they have a new unwanted roommate at their pad. Where are those annoying gargoyles when you need them? Those wankers don't do anything when anyone can see them though. They've watched too much Doctor Who and now they think that they're weeping angels. Number one, flying cats. And now we cap off our list with this beautiful flying cat in its natural habitat. We don't know what this lady's trying to do, but she just can't compete with the majesty of the flying cat. We also wouldn't go near it because cats want to kill us as it is without the power of flight. Better.